Today, we're going to bench test Richard Helliger's programmable differential controller with a remote relay wired to a DC motor. The relay is used to transfer either AC or DC power to a pump. The controller, of course, should never be connected directly to the pump, but this relay can handle over 200 watts of power, and larger relays are available. This is Richard Helliger's famous solar heat loop controller. It can be used to either extract heat from stored, uh, a stored uh, system of heat, or it can be used to collect heat from a solar collector. Uh, today, we're, we'll be using it uh, to collect heat. Uh, so that, that would be uh, what you'd call uh, the differential mode. So we'll set that up plug it in. The first thing we'll see is Richard Helliger's logo 2009 collector control. And then that disappears and the first thing you'll see is the collector temperature. Right now the collector temperature is 107 and the storage temperature is uh, 105. And the, the pump is off. Now uh, the first thing we want to do is make an adjustment for the differential. In other words uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, set the, um, the differential temperature at which the pump comes on. So we press the top button here. And right now it's set at 10 degrees. Let's raise it a little. Let's raise it to 15 degrees. Okay, and uh, we can do that. The top button raises it and the bottom button will lower that control. Alright, so we have the differential at which the pump comes on is set at 15 degrees. Now how about the differential at which the pump comes off? Well we first we press the bottom button and right now it's set at 4 degrees. Let's set it a little lower. Alright, I set it down to 2 degrees. So the differential temperature between the collector and the storage tank is only going to be uh, 2 degrees to turn the pump off. Alright, now, we're all set. Now the sun's coming out. Right now I said the collector temperature is 107. It, it has to go up to, uh, uh, it has to be, what, 15 degrees higher. So add that up. That, that would be 122 degrees to turn the pump on. So let's raise the collector temperature. Keep your eye on the top display. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right now it's 114 degrees, 116. All right, it came on. It's uh, 100 and uh, about 121 degrees it came on. Okay, now now let's lower the collector temperature and see at what temperature it goes off. Remember the storage temperature is 105. Alright, so now it's 119, 116, 115, 114, 111, 110, 119. Okay, at uh, right now the Collector temperature is 106 and storage temperature is 105 and the pump is off. That's uh, just about how we set everything. Um, now we can also, another thing we can do, let's turn it on again. So I raise the temperature up to 122. Another way of turning the pump off would be to raise the storage temperature. As long as we get within 2 degrees the collector as long as the collector temperature is within two degrees of the storage temperature, the pump should come off. So now I'm, I'm going to raise the storage temperature. Remember it's 105 now. Now it's 112, 115. Okay. At 119 degrees, the pump uh, shuts off. So as long as we're uh, within two degrees, uh, of the storage, uh, the, as long as the collector is within two degrees of the storage tank temperature, the pump comes off. Anyway, uh, that's the basic idea of Richard Helliger's uh, solar heat controller uh, that's uh, programmable. Okay, thank you very much.
extra ram to fix me up I have to cough it up Open my wallet up It never stops, never stops, never stops, never stops This window's 95